Hey guys and welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. Welcome, welcome and it's Saturday. I wanted to play some Nintendo Switch games and I was like, you know what? Let me do a live stream, right? I, I, I want to do FPJ stuff, right? Sometimes I just want to play a new console. Now, given I'm playing a new console but I'm playing an old game, I'm playing the Rainbow Islands Collection which is uh, an Arcade Archives release. Now, I've got quite a bunch of games for the Switch guys but we're only going to be running 2D games. When I say 2D games, I'm not going to be running like like 2D games like say like a big long metroidvania I guess we're just gonna have a look at it or something I've got a whole bunch of games unfortunately I don't play too many games now I don't know what version of Rainbow Islands is loaded here but those little insects seem to be getting angry a lot quicker but anyway guys welcome to the stream if you're tuning in we're gonna do some 2D Nintendo Switch games because you know what I like 2D games on the Switch look at, look at how angry that Capilla got straight away definitely a, a different version here right I can tell because the soundtrack's different to the one that I know I mean given the fact that I know the Amiga one now going back to the Switch guys like I like my Switch a lot right but I don't really think it's a good console for uh, playing 3D games right for me it's like it's something I like playing a lot of 2D games on right um, I think the last game I competed on this like was a while back and that would have been Metroid Dread so it goes to show uh, exactly how often I play it right I should really play it some more um, but I don't right um, yeah I tried playing uh, Metroid Prime Remastered and I just couldn't get into it this time for some reason oh what yo split raf 100 Aiden Scandal in the house wicked wicked and who else we got um, Alan D yo my bro wow I was trying to read chat there and then he got killed by the crow. <laughs> right, so I've got my double rainbow. Oh my god, this is a double rainbow. I never, I, I don't like, ah! I don't like the triple rainbow. Uh, never have, never have, right? But uh, OMG, it's a double rainbow. Such a great game, honestly. It's great that it's out for Switch. What the FPJ call, but to be honest, I'm really happy playing like the Amiga version of this even now. Oh, don't want the triple rainbow. If anyone's familiar with this game, right, there is a maximum number of rainbows you can have on screen, right? So, oh, I've got three rainbows. See, look, three from nine. You can't have, like, more than nine or ten. So if you have a double rainbow, you can effectively have, um, a, um, you can have, like, five kind of, right, not rows, is it? Like, you can have five layers of them, right, going up, so five steps of rainbows. Whereas if you have a triple rainbow, that kind of maxes out at, um, well, at three because you can't go beyond that. Once you fire out your fourth string of a triple rainbow, that's it. It's it's over. So at least that's how I remember playing. I haven't played this like too much. So I'll have a look at my games list in a second, guys. Um, and you can pick some stuff on there. I think I've got the cartridge I've got in there is Mario Maker. Let's try and avoid that. That's like one of my my kids' cartridges. In fact. I think I've got, I've got so many Switch games in, in the house, right? I've had to buy a few. I've actually got four physical copies of Bloody Mario Kart because we all wanted to play four player. I, I, try, I, I tried to buy quite a lot of physical games, even though I do have quite a bunch of digital games. Uh, I do actually get, for doing kind of YouTube, I do end up getting um, quite a few games for free, to be honest, um, for the Nintendo Switch especially. Uh, so that's, that's a little bit of a perk. Man, this is, I swear this is faster. I'm playing some harder versions of this right um oh man it's harder to beat with one rainbow <laughs> okay i am just gonna suck here guys i wasn't bad at this game back in the day right but uh Okay, that was, that was a bit daft, right? Okay, game over, cool. Let's have a look at the game. This your whole Shan Gamer. How you doing, man? Rainbow Power. <laughs> the OG, the OG Rainbow Crew, man, from Rainbow Islands. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, so 
Right, right let's uh let's close that down shall we and okay guys this looks really good king of fighters now i'm playing on uh, i'm playing on a pro controller because i've got different ones but you have to configure them and i don't play the switch often enough at least not docked up right it's usually um it's usually uh, i usually play in handheld mode for me it's a handheld machine guys that's that's the switch i'm a handheld gamer but it's nice to dock it now whenever i do try and dock it it always goes in 480p mode it's really annoying and i've got mess about with it but i read online how to kind of fix it and it kind of fixes so let me know if you want to see any of these games guys but don't pick like red dead redemption pick a 2d game and preferably not a 2d game like prince of persia which is like a long one something that's a quick play gimmick is a very very quick play someone recommended that it was a mistake getting that game right it is <laughs> we'll have a look at it it's definitely very very unique i like this game um fighting ex layer um Pretty's really good. I got those on the Vita, and now I guess we we will have a look at the Switch ones. Uh, okay, something like Salt and Tantry again. That's going to be a long game. Um, okay, the Rumblefish came out. Like I really wanted to play that game. When I tried it, now I felt like it was a little bit off. Uh, Double Dragon's good. Um, okay, yeah. So there's, there's a bunch of games here. I mean, I'm quite happy playing uh, arcade games that aren't out via fpga yet right and we can give some of those a blast um so even stuff like waku waku 7 man absolutely brilliant this game's interesting kunai but it's it's kind of tricky man uh this game here is just weird but i, I kind of like it okay so there's a few games in there uh there's a lot more games that i actually need to play i want to go through the dangna romper series as well kind of started those on the ps vita maybe i'll maybe i'll go back to the vita on that guys if you actually hold the vita now you realize or you actually realize how light it is uh, anyone got a game there okay anyone guys if you've got a recommendation for a game whack it down below um and we'll have a look there this is really good snow brothers so there's a few games that we can actually check out guys uh which i think are, are, are fantastic also let me know if the sound levels are okay because i'm kind of playing it by ear um so let's go okay so while you guys pick a game right out of the selection here um right let me go this one here crypt stalker guys this game's like i don't know it's like two pounds or something guys i hate okay well just have a look at it for yourself now guys so read the games and hopefully i'm gonna get some sound i'm always like worried with with the switch i don't use it often enough hopefully yeah we're getting sound oh that's loud let me turn that down a little bit guys so i wasn't paying attention to the rainbow island sound this, this kind of should be all right basing it on uh visual effects bar so again this is like classic castlevania um i gotta say like it's it's kind of all right um now there's one criticism about this actually you can't change the damn controls and i don't like getting into accessibility and changing controls um also guys do let me know about the adverts i'm still using the absolute minimal uh, i can to monetize this because if the replays watch then obviously i'd like to get some uh monetization done uh, but I've got it on minimal, right? But if you're still getting lots and lots of adverts, just tell me. If you're like Pixel, we're getting adverts like every five minutes, then I'd rather just completely turn monetization off during the stream. And then what I think I can do is after the stream's done for the replay, I can go into, um, I can then set the monetization for anyone that watches the replay. So at least the live stream, there shouldn't be any adverts. I just want to try it to streamline the experience, you know. It's not, YouTube's not my main source of income or anything, guys. So uh, I'm quite happy doing the stream for fun because i'm playing and i'm playing oh console game <laughs> handheld game right for I'm, I'm not on i'm not on handheld like for once so original mode casual mode the lost sequel okay so you know what nah you know what i'm gonna go original mode i'm not gonna be a coward here um but this game i think it's 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 good i just it's a bit annoying because you can't configure the buttons and it's got look so b is jump right and a is attack i kind of like them the other way around and i know i'm gonna get confused a lot but again this looks like classic vania it literally is you know like a nes game but it's very very cheap guys it's like i think it's like 189 or something it, it's very very cheap to buy on the eShop. so ha And and the jumps you can move around while you jump as well, so you're not you're not locked to your jump. 
you know, somewhat. You can you can move around a bit, which is which is different to Castlevania, right? Because Castlevania, once you commit, you kind of commit. You can face the way you're looking, and then all of a sudden there is certain doom, right? So okay, what are we doing, right? Again, like. Do you know what, if this game was like a full price game or like, even if it was like 10 pounds or 15 pounds, like some of these games are, maybe it's not worth picking up, right? But for the price this is, you know, you're like, okay, I'll, I'll give it a shot. And it's not actually bad for what it is. It's, it's, it's all right. It's probably someone like a one man guy, you know, one man team made this game and probably like Castlevania and, and whatnot. I think I've got like a, a sub weapon. Yeah, so I've got a sub weapon. How do I activate that? I can't remember. Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay, so I've got a whip and I've got like a gun as well. I've got a laser. <laughs> it's not doing much damage, man. I think I'll stick to the whip. And then I did see a Darius in in like the comments below. We'll go we'll go to Darius next. Okay, I hope everyone's having a good Saturday night, right? I mean, guys, do you remember when we were younger, right? Saturday night was the night I still remember spraying myself with Davidoff, like literally so much Davidoff. By the way, I absolutely love Davidoff's cool water. Uh, so spraying ourselves, going out, hitting the clubs, hitting the bars, and what am I doing now? I am streaming retro or retro style games on like a modern or the weakest modern kind of console out there and this is how we roll now in our mid 40s or you know whatever your age is right maybe you're not as crusty as me maybe you're in your 30s or something you're still kind of going out like me no i don't, I don't do that stuff anymore man oh oh okay oh okay nice <laughs> Love that little uh, swing feature there, man. Oops. <laughs> okay. Ah! <laughs> okay, I've got a different gun now, right? One more hit and I'm dead. Okay, we're gonna... Is that health? Oh, that's one up. I just wanted health, to be honest. Let's get out of here. Oh, Google, my phone is my, my, my phone thinks I'm asking it something. It's like telling me you, you need to unlock it. I don't want to unlock it. Do not disturb. If anyone calls me, I'm not going to pick it up. Okay, well, I'm doing a lot without getting hit now. I kind of want to get hit so we can move on to another game. Oh, I'm on the boss. Can I do it? Uh, oh, and I'm dead. <laughs> All right. You know what? How, how close am I to the boss? Oh, and I've got to do that whole part again. All right. Let's go to Darius now. Uh, yo, wicked. Oh, Shredder's Revenge. Oh, okay, cool. I've kind of played that more on Steam, you know. I don't, I don't, did I have that on here? I can't even remember. Um, okay, let's go to... Let's go to Darius. Maybe I should um, sort software alphabetical so then i can find it easier um oh okay so all the archive oh, that's good all the arcade archive stuff comes there here we go darius cosmic collection ended up getting i don't know if i've got it installed on here now i ended up getting um the ray the ray crisis or the ray chronology i ended up getting that for a uh, free i did a review of that on the channel uh there's a lot more that I, there's a lot more that i, I do kind of get from time to time so this is this is interesting let me have a look at chat um wicked rainbow power darius oh wicked nice nice bit fine nice to see, see there's no adverts so i've said it on the very very conservative thing um have i got teenage mutant ninja turtle shredder's revenge if i have i've got no progress in that game it'll be from the beginning but that is a fantastic game guys uh let's go down Ooh, okay oh i've gone far down too much okay oh i've got the cowabunga collection right okay yeah so i have so with with shredder's revenge um uh, scandal i played that more on um i played that on game pass and like i'm trying to, i'm moving away from game pass it runs out in may i've still got three months free that i can redeem 
with my Asus ROG Ally purchase. I haven't redeemed that yet. So let's add another uh, June, July, August. So it's going to run out August. I've told my kids we're moving to PC. I'm not paying subscriptions. So I ended up buying it on uh, Steam and I haven't... Um, I haven't really played it much on Steam, to be honest. Uh, I should buy the DLC and maybe go through it. I just, it was free on Game Pass when it came out. So that's where I, I mainly done it. Um, so, okay, what one should we play? Should we, should we go, let's go old version. Um, Alan, let me know which one you want to see. We'll go with this and training mode. The All right, you know what? We're going to go, we're going to go on normal mode, man. Let's, let's shoot some fishes. Hey guys, welcome to the stream. I hope everyone's having a good Saturday night. We're doing some, we're, we're getting slightly, slightly more modern, right? That's, that's where we're going. Um, oh, okay. Okay, cool. I really thought it was uh, going to penalize me there. Right. Okay. Um, oh, wow. Okay. So this is interesting. <laughs> Oh, nice. To be honest, I'm, I'm playing this on, like, I, I don't know how big this is. 20, 27, 32? No, that's not 32, actually. It's going to be, like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe no, no, it's going to be bigger than 22. I don't know, 24, 27-inch screen. Uh, and it's kind of all right. I'm seeing it okay, right? I've got my glasses on and everything. Um, but um, I imagine this will be fantastic on a much, much larger screen. Nice to have, like, the full, long version of the game, right? I mean, that's that's... That's boombastic, Mr. Fantastic. Um, again, Darius games are good. Never really played them too much. I, I can see that they're good. But when it comes to like horizontal shmups, I, I, there's other ones that I played and, and that are my favorites, right? And that being like Gradius, oops, Nemesis, uh, Art Type, uh, Parodius, like those, those are my horizontal ones mainly. Uh, to be honest, I was playing uh, Art Type Leo earlier. Um, on the Ambernic Arc, you know, the one that's shaped like a Mega Drive controller or a Saturn controller, sorry. Um, that's really, really good, man. Uh, it's a very, very good handheld. Um, I also want to pick up another analog pocket, man. I'm going to, I'm, I'm actively trying to buy one. Hopefully, hopefully analog will uh, open up all this soon. And I've got a black one. I'll order a white one uh, only because um, I just realized I'm not actually playing my analog pocket. I'm so, I'm so concerned. Uh, like so look guys i take all my machines out with me if i'm going out if i if I want to take the steam deck mind you i've given the kid the steam deck they're using that now um but uh the rog ally uh my gpd win max any handheld i've always taken it out not really but you know not really been too concerned about it so with the unlock pocket now i've kind of stopped taking it out only for the reason that if i drop it or i damage it or let's say i lose it now i've never lost a handheld or anything right but if i lose it and it'll be difficult to get another one because they're out of stock on analog's website i honestly don't know when i'll be able to get another one and, and the channel will kind of suffer for that so i don't take it out so I'm, if anyone's actually got an analog pocket and you're kind of london based or you're local and you want to sell one uh you know if you picked up a limited edition one i don't want a black one i don't want two blacks any color but black like uh, a white one would do or one of the limited edition colors uh and, you know, if you want to if you want to sell it you bought an extra one and you regret your decision cool like i'll pay you what you paid for it right uh if not i have to wait for analog to kind of get them back in stock um so yeah that will be um yeah that's something have i got like a oh okay <laughs> I got fished. <laughs> oh, my, my controller's vibrating like crazy now. Right, are those all power ups? No, they're not all power ups. Okay, I thought they were power ups. What well, are they power ups? I want to go in there. I swear they're not power ups. No, they're not because I can shoot those damn things. I was watching someone. I, I really like watching people play schmops wow those bullets are fast man ah come on <laughs> okay let's try something else right uh oh no there's other games in there isn't there oh okay cool all right let's try something else um right okay what we got what we got oh okay 
So there's a whole bunch of Neo Geo games. We've got these plus Alpha. That's Alpha the Mister as well, isn't it? Um, this is a game I really, really like. World Heroes Perfect. I think it's fantastic. Let's run something so it runs into a demo. All right. Let's go Surprise Attack and then we'll, we'll check something else in a second. I like Surprise Attack because um, who, was, who was showing it? Was it you that was showing it to me, Alan, on, on Discord uh, most recently? And it looks like... Um, it looks and plays like Shinobi and Shadow Dancer, like those type of games. So that's that's kind of interesting, right? Let me take a sip of my drink. I'll have a look at chat and yeah, we'll start this in just a second. Oh, wicked scandal, yeah. I haven't streamed so much i have got I, I started with geforce now when um i think it launched during covid and and uh, i was furloughed so man that was one of the best times of my life man i know covid was bad and everything but man i was at home for like a good six months just barbecuing and chilling and playing video games man and you know wages were good in fact i was actually making more money because i wasn't spending money on travel so i was saving money and getting 100 percent of my wages so man yeah but I tried GeForce now during them, um, during that time, and yeah, I thought it was really, really good. Uh, but yeah, it's nice to stream it on lighter devices. That's why I don't understand when people are like, oh man, I only stream stuff on my Steam Deck. Like, for the Steam Deck, you want to play stuff natively on there, right? But if you're going to stream stuff, you want something very, very light, you know, because you don't need a heavy device. You don't need that horsepower. You just need the power to stream. So, like an Android handheld or like the one that, what's the one that you're saying? The, the Retroid Pocket 4 Pro, for example. Good stuff. Yeah, Scandal, the screens on some of these are really, really good. Um, do you know, funnily enough, what I bought the other day, I bought um, I bought a Mio Mini Plus because you know what? It was like, including taxes and everything, it was it was like 37 or 38 pounds delivered from AliExpress. And I thought, you know what? I can have a tiny little handheld to take out um, because like I said, I'm not taking the analog pocket out. So hopefully um, I'll either find someone local that's selling one, if not, yeah, if they don't if they don't have um, if they don't have it in stock, then I'll wait for them to come in stock and, and I'll get one because I realised I'm not I'm not playing my analog pocket. I'm just always it's it's become almost like a work device, something that I put stuff on, I will get calls on, I get games on, and I just yeah I just end up using you know I end up using it making videos and then I'm like oh if I take it out and. Let's just say, I don't know, something happens to it, then that will kind of halt progress for me doing videos. So I need to get another one. I kind of should have bought, um, I should have bought one, one of the limited edition ones, maybe one of the transparent or any one of the, the other ones. Maybe not the glowing dark one, because eventually that will uh, will run out. So guys, do you know what? No lie, this game is darn tough. So look at it straight away, right? It is. It is like Shinobi Shadow Dancer, right? Shinobi, you're, you're rescuing the kids. Shadow Dancer, the bombs, and that's, that's kind of like what you're doing here, yeah? That's got to be bombs. And look, even the jumps are the same style. Look, you get a number of bombs. This is a straightforward ripoff of... I should have timed my jump. This is a straightforward ripoff of uh, Shinobi and Sh a Shadow Dancer. But guys, I'll tell you what, this game's hard. Look, you can even, you can even crawl like them, guys. <laughs> so... I can't remember what arcade system uh, this is on, whether this system is being worked on, and will we see this on um, the Mr. One Day or the Analog Pocket? I can't remember off the top of my head. So let's go in between the shots. I do like the power-ups, right? I do like how the power-ups look. Um, I've got to say, the Pro Controller isn't very comfortable, but it is bloody accurate, man. Look at that, man, look. I remember playing this in handheld mode and there was just some parts that just felt unfair, man. It was just one of those where I didn't even want to, um, I didn't actually want to proceed. I was like, nah, I don't have to do it. Oh, okay. Well, uh, uh, Spitfire, where are, where are you based? Are you, are you UK? Are you London? Um, and you know, how much do you want for it? <laughs> You know, if the price is good, I don't mind another another black one, right? That would be the least color one because I have a black one. But you know, if I can get one quickly, I'd I'd yeah, oh, pressing the wrong button, right? Now at least I can continue. Let's continue. Um, but yeah, that's you know, yeah. I just I want to play some Pocket Man. It's like I wanted to play um, 
Zelda the Minish Cap again, and I was like, you know, but, so I've got a few Game Boys. The Game Boy that I like is the original uh, shape Game Boy, but modded, right? That's my favorite one, right? You get some invincibility here. Look, I'm flying around like one of them guys from Big Trouble in Little, uh, Big, Big Trouble in Little China, right? The lightning guy. Um, Okay, so I need to go up right there. there, there there's these grenade guys, man. And guys, they are ruthless. Like, it's hard to dodge that damn grenade. So I'm just firing ahead. So hopefully I can just pick them off before they even fire. And look, those guys there that are using their gun as a shield, they, they remind me of, like, the bigger guys in the Shinobi games. Oh, did I leave one behind, or? I must have... Uh, oh, I should have been paying attention, right? Is there, is there a bomb that I left behind? Ah, I did. <laughs> Two. Okay, hopefully. Wicked. Oh, okay, Milton Keynes. That's that's actually not too far, man. That's yeah, that's that's the M1 just past Luton. Yeah, I've got I've got some relatives in in Luton so I do pop there from uh actually yeah, yeah I haven't been there for a while actually but I, I do pop there from time to time so look is this like so if I if I'm not mistaken right Shinobi you can move and shoot in this one you can't which is a bit annoying because you can kind of close in on on somebody and ah, that's what I'm talking about look at that grenade that was a difficult dodge guys honestly I died a lot on that first time around when I was playing this uh, this game's not bad, right? But I, I don't think it's—I don't think it's a Shinobi or anything, right? It's—it's—it's it's, it's not a touch on Shinobi and Shadow Dancer. Ah, oh, come on! I—I I, I really wish if I had like the bounce. Um, you know what? Uh, Spitfire RAF 100. Um, yeah, give me uh, if you're on the if you're on my Discord. Um, give me a shout or drop me a DM later or something. Um, yeah, I'll be—I'll be—I'll be interested. We can—we uh, can talk. If I can get one quickly, then, yeah, you know, I can get a black one. I can always pick up another one later and, uh, you know, give that one to my cousin or something. Or I don't think I don't think my kids will really appreciate the analog pockets. So, you know, that's that's kind of that. Look at that. Come on, this game is bump, right? Let's find another game. That was, uh, whoops. So always get confused with the buttons. Nice, nah, it's, it's this button. That's it. Right. Okay. So let's find another two D game. We've done this lot here, guys. So you know what? Let's have a quick look at this. Right. I have to say, like I put out a tweet um, a few days ago. Just uh, I was so impressed by this. Right. Um, that I, I honestly I don't understand why we can't get modern games like this. Like I wish if Street Fighter Six looked like this. Look like this. I, I understand Street Fighter Six looks good for what it is and and i, and I kind of like it but i do miss these graphics man i i miss these graphics like so so much um so so much like when 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 games were like pixel based and and this one just looks absolutely absolutely wicked for uh for those uh, so let's get into arcade mode and i i like like on a controller I like so for a capcom game i like six face buttons and i like an arcade stick i don't mind the satin pad for it out of any pad out there right but you know what you know the like for for snk games because they're four buttons i don't mind any kind of controller for them right they just they just work so let's go i mean again this game just looks so wicked man and this is what this is where where's iori man um here we go so this is where um this is where i feel that the switch just excels man like you know don't play 3d stuff on it play 2d stuff on it like use it it's good for even flagship games like um oh wicked nice one spitfire i appreciate that uh so even um even games like you know flagship games like um like um like zelda you know they're all running at 30 fps and i think some of them even drop below now don't get me wrong they're good games and they look well they play well but man look it look how good this looks seriously i i just wish i just wish like the new games look like this rather than those kind of 3d ones on a 2d plane absolutely love this such a don look out i mean look at it right seriously what an awesome game
Okay, wow. Yeah, this, this game's good. I, I, I'll try not to spend too long playing it. This is like, this is one of the games that I play in bed with a Switch, man. <laughs> It starts. It starts annoying my wife when I'm like mashing buttons in this. I try, I try and be. I try and be quiet. But you know what? I always got to give props to my wife, man. She puts up with a lot of my crap, man. Uh, she's actually. Um, she's actually on holiday now with my with my two boys, man. For for like the Easter holidays. Um, so she's away. It's just me and my daughter uh, that are at home. So my daughter's actually downstairs playing Tomb Raider on her laptop. She's like an Apex Legend player. But I was like, you know what? She's 15. I was like, I can't remember what the certificate is for. Uh, Tomb Raider, but I said, look, your brothers aren't here, so you can play something that's a little bit violent because, well, you know what, they're not around to kind of have a look or like, you know, kind of eavesdrop on what you're playing. So, um, yeah, she's she's playing that man. So I've got I've got a little bit of time. I've got a little bit of freedom. Um, but yeah, my wife puts up with a lot of button presses in bed, man. <laughs> uh, she's just got she's gotten used to be playing that stuff, you know. And, and and I think like now she's so used to it, she can kind of sleep with it. But I do try not to play beat em ups, right? Um, I've been playing Cyberpunk. I started Cyberpunk, man. That's actually that's actually good. I, I like the game a lot. Ooh. Okay, right, what's next? But guys, I recommend this game. I think it's $17.99 on the store. Uh, hopefully it'll go down on a sale. And the physical version um, is also available. But I think the physical version's like quite a bit more money. Um, let's see what else is out there. Okay, that's kind of 3D, but that, that kind of looked all right. Uh, Princess Peach Showtime is surprisingly good. Um, should we do a little bit of Castlevania? Like, I'm not, I'm not too familiar with these ones. Guys, do let me know if there's a game you want to see. Um, <laughs> yeah, that definitely has those physics in there, uh, Kato. Um, and Maya, Maya's like my favourite KOF fighter, man. Like, she's always my first one. I don't know, every game I try her in, I feel that she plays, she plays really, really well. Um, and it's not just because of uh, anatomy physics. It is... Genuinely, I like that character. Uh, I, I kind of like Iori as well, to some extent. Uh, so Maya, Yori, Iori, um, Terry, those are the ones I'll, I'll kind of stick with. I kind of like Robert because he's got uh, he's got that shot or move set, but his combos just don't seem to work with me, man. I just can't get them working. So Bloodlines, Bloodlines is wicked. Again, it's not something that I've, it's not something that I played a lot going up so there's there's a whole bunch of games on here the original again banging soundtracks man banging banging soundtracks i don't know if anyone watched the weekly news video earlier uh but i'm picking like different soundtracks uh, i hope you guys like the soundtrack for that it was one of my one of my favorite games on the pc engine uh, so i think i've got scan lines on i'll, I'll leave them on for now on this one because most of the games aren't going to have them on there uh this one's got a banging soundtrack let's just turn it turn it up let's turn it up a little bit wicked um yeah Cool. Okay, so bloodlines. Here we go. Ha, who remembers? Who remembers the days of passwords, man? You had to get a password and write that stuff down. Yo, my fellow ninja in the house. Uh, ninja, ninja running wild. Wicked, dimensional ninja, ninja running wild. Right. Okay. What am I doing? Oh, where I press start. Okay, guys. Like, okay, I know John Morris is is John Morris, right? But I've always liked Eric Lacard. Now, if you like this game, there's a hack of Harmony of Dissonance out done by oh, who is it? I can't remember the person's name. Really good guy, man. I speak to him sometimes. Uh, his first name's Michael. I can't remember what his online handle is, but um, he's done a hack of Harmony of Dissonance where it's got a soundtrack from Bloodlines, and as well as having a soundtrack, guys, you could pick like Eric Lacard and John Morris, as well as like Mar and Mega Man and it's got a whole bunch of characters you can pick I've got a video on the channel about it but guys that is well well worth checking out like it is a very very good ROM hack so I like, I like like the kind of eight direction 
Um, I don't think it's a spear. It's got a different name to it. What what great music! So the hack the hack that he's made a harmony of dissonance. It uses this soundtrack. Um, there's a lot of good ROM hacks for lots of different games out there. The rabbit hole that I always end up going down is the Castlevania uh, ROM hacks. There's some fantastic ones out there. Whether it's the Game Boy Advance, uh, whether it's the DS. I mean, they've got like Contra Contravania, right? Where you've got like the six character or six different characters out of the Contra universe, right? and they just look and play wicked you play with the guns it completely changes the game it feels like feels like konami actually made the dlc themselves and sold it to you okay that's interesting so which is unusual for a game of that era right so i'm crouching this way i can't crouch and change direction no so look oh he's got a oh there was that as well wasn't it yeah so you, you kind of hold down and kind of charge up that jump again this is a good game and guys if you're if it's looking a bit funny on your screen i think it's because scan lines are on in fact i can actually just turn them off um no no scan lines this just got original and that, that should look better for your display actually to be honest it does look nice here as well now Again, what a soundtrack. And look, my axe is on fire. They always recommend, there's a friend of mine who doesn't have a switch. His kid's got a switch and I've told him, look, get yourself like a, even a switch light, right? I mean, you know, the one I'm playing now is like the OLED one. Um, I've got like two versions of each switch in the household two OLEDs uh, one original one one the one the original one with a better battery and then two switch uh, two switch lights uh, two switch OLEDs so uh, I'll tell my friend look get one just for 2D games you like 2D games there's a lot of good 2D games on here I mean I really enjoyed playing uh, Mortal Kombat 11 on the switch I know the graphics weren't good uh, or the graphics were ropey right but man it held 60 FPS or at least it, I didn't feel like the flame the flames were going off um sorry the frame rate um was was dipping at least to the point where i wasn't enjoying it it just felt good guys oh this is a bit dodgy to dodge now how am i supposed to dodge that glass and straight into the fire man Oh, okay, I got him. Or well, did I get him? So I'm not familiar with this game. <laughs> brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Oh, Harmony of Despair. Okay, which one's Harmony of Despair, um, Ninja? Is that the multiplayer one, right? Is that the one where you can play four players? Uh, if that is the one, right, the one that was out for 360 and PS3, where you can play, like, up to, I think, four players, there's actually a version people remade on Unity, right? And what that version has given you now is you can take it online and play it against other people. I actually tried it with a friend of mine. They've got a whole Discord dedicated to it so you can get like uh, games on with other people. I keep meaning to do like a dedicated video highlighting it. I'm not sure if I have done previously. Um, I don't think I have and I've always wanted to do it saying, look guys, if you want to play Harmony of Despair, uh, you want to play multiplayer Castlevania, there's a dedicated community that actually work on bringing the game out and you know releasing regular updates for it man um and it's well 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 worth checking out um i thoroughly enjoyed it i was playing it on like one of my handheld pcs and it's something i need to kind of put back on there's also like a good like it's kind of like a fighter right so there's a castlevania fighting game that isn't great and that might be the actual one right okay how do i get past that can i slide no oh okay can i Okay. Oh, I thought that was gonna. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, um, there's a Castlevania kind of arena-based fighting game. Is it arena or stage-based? Where 
it's like imagine like boss challenges or something you kind of fight them and that one's really really good i know i know i covered it on the channel like before i was doing fpga stuff it's a game i kind of need to revisit and i kind of want to highlight it again it's it's very very good guys all right i've been doing castlevania for a bit too long now uh, i'm surprised i have actually lasted this long uh, i don't know what it is I'm, I'm playing better on the stream or maybe maybe gaming is it's easier to play stuff on uh, on a handheld uh, sorry uh, on on tv mode right than it is when I'm playing stuff on handheld because I'm definitely feeling like I'm playing better. Even though I love handheld gaming, uh, I feel like performance is always better when I'm playing on a TV. Maybe it's just bigger. I guess that's the way these games are meant to be played, right? A lot of them, unless, you know, unless we're talking specific handheld games. <laughs> I do like how the enemy lands on that and that is, wow, that is one meaty looking skeleton with a spinny mace thing. <laughs> I love the up attack, man. Sorry, guys. I don't know if you're alive or dead now, but you're kind of hanging bits down there. Again, wow, what a stylish game. I wish... Uh, <laughs> I wish if I played this back, and back on the day on the Mega Drive, right? That would have been good. That would have been good. Right, let's have a look at chat. Uh, and... Okay, it's bigger room hangs. I had a laugh with... Oh, shotgun. <laughs> yeah, shotgun Mario is funny, man. That is a funny one. Right, let's uh, let's check something else. I do like the arcade archive stuff. So, right, okay. Garu's wicked, but we've got that. Uh, I really, I really like this game. I uh, really, really do like this. Um, I like the World Heroes games, but I feel like this one here, World Heroes Perfect, it has perfected the series. Now, you might disagree if you know the games better. I don't know them that well. I played them like on the SNES. Um, I played them on the SNES a little bit, and I, and, I, and I liked, I liked them a lot. You know, back when, um, back when all my friends, um, back when all my friends weren't so much into fighters, and I still was, and I was playing this. I like like the arena ba based, um, the arena based kind of combat combat stages. I thought, I thought it was wicked, and I do like this kind of latest version of it. So, so look. Uh, Wicked um, uh, Paper Mario version. Do you know what, uh, Scandal, talking about Paper Mario, I'm kind of looking forward to the Thousand Year Door coming out on the Switch. I think that's a game I'll try and make an effort to actually play. And when I say play, there's a lot of games that I play and I end up not playing them. And I'll tell you something that's really bad. When I go on Night Shift or when I'm tired, I end up playing a game and I end up feeling tired and then I associate that game with tiredness. Every time I play it, I don't want to play it. So. I shouldn't really play games when I'm tired and on night shift, but it's an ever-repeating cycle that I'm always in. Um, do you know what, Ninja Running World? Yeah, that's, that's fair enough, man. I mean, like, I'm I'm a big handheld nut, right? Um, so if a new handheld Nintendo comes out, I'll put, I will buy it at launch. Um, but yeah, the Steam Decks, if I had to pick one, I'd, I'd go Steam Deck, right? Because it is definitely more versatile now. Uh, than the actual switch the switch is the switch is the switch is good for what it is I, I i do like it and also like the fact that the switch is a lot lighter uh the steam deck like for example when i when i take the steam deck out with me it takes up it dominates the bag it's an odd shape it just takes up the whole bag whereas when i do the same thing with uh, a nintendo switch it just kind of fits in there so there's advantages and disadvantages to having both um Harmony of... All oh, right, okay, cool. Harmony of Dissonance. No worries, man. Um, I got that. I'm glad I spoke about Harmony of Despair anyway, because uh, it's nice to see the multiplayer element of that kind of still alive via like a fan-made uh, PC port, and it plays really, really well. So um, it's worth looking into if you kind of like that game, or if you're, if you're a bunch of friends that like playing Castlevania together. Spits out to you. Friends no longer into fighters. Ah, <laughs> uh, do you know what's so scandal, right? When it comes to... Um, when it comes to my friends, the guys that I grew up and I went to school with, a lot of them, they're, they're not hardcore gamers. Like, a few of them moved with games, but they just, one of them in particular, moved with whatever the current trend was. Um, a lot of the friends I grew up with, uh, they, they've kind of got substance or, yeah, substance issues, either alcohol or whatever. And that's the guys I went to school with. There's a few that are still okay and are still, you know, like, of sane mind and they're not addicted to something. But a lot of them got out of gaming. So we went through a phase where I got out of gaming for a bit as well, where I was DJing, I was clubbing. I still always kind of 
loved gaming. Yo, Electron Ash is in the house. How you doing there, bud? Guys, wicked. Electron, salute my bro. Hope you're well. Um, but yeah, so sorry, going back to my friends. A lot of them got out of games, man. And yeah, and then when it came to fighters, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not great at fighters, but I was the best in my group. So, you know, when you're beating down on people and beating people with just using a dragon punch in Street Fighter, they kind of stop wanting to play you. So I don't blame them. Um, so then as we got kind of older, we started playing more like FIFA, obviously the N64, GoldenEye and everything there. So we kind of went through phases. I got back into games when I got my game shop and I was like, I really like games. And, and I kind of got back into them. But then after that, I made a new bunch of friends by going to the arcade, playing um, Street Fighter on Xbox, um, Xbox Live, going to tournaments. Then I've got a whole bunch of friends that I play uh, Street, Fighter, Street Fighter with. And I was like, okay, that they became my friends and you know what i've made a whole bunch of new friends since covering fpga gaming so it's interesting now because the internet brings like-minded people together uh <laughs> do you know do you know what ninja running world they actually do right i i've been teetotal since 2013 till 2013 um so the class a stuff i gave up like 2006 maybe 2007 i just started getting too depressed taking those so i gave those up stuck to some recreational mary jane but i knocked that on the head in 2013 so i've been teetotal for 11 years and i'll tell you what life does get a lot more boring when you're teetotal uh games are less interesting and i think that's why i can't i can't get that focus in games like i used to but you know what i feel good for it right i mean i feel i feel good especially when you become a family man it becomes a little bit more difficult to kind of be higher you know all the time so i'm kind of happy with my choice um i don't really miss it too much wicked the uh, yeah the clocks go forward tonight man i've actually uh, moved my alarm for tomorrow morning one hour forward um yes yeah, so to get a little bit extra sleep not that i'm working or anything i can kind of sleep as much as i want man um my daughter's a late sleeper so there's nothing i need to do with breakfast or anything there you know she's like a she's in the final year of school she actually helps out around the house quite a bit as well so that's all good uh but my wife spoke me man i've had to do laundry and all that stuff i've not had to do that for a long long time man actually since the last time she was away uh, a couple of years ago without me um anyway yeah, do you know what? It's it's kind of all right, man. Yeah, uh, don't get me wrong. Um, I do miss. I do miss. You know, I do miss the old, especially like the bumblebees. I miss them the most. Like you know, having like a meaningful relationship with a random stranger for you know that night where they're like your best buddy and you completely understand each other. You know, complete and utter crap, right? But it was an experience, right? It's good. I mean, when I see my friends that didn't give up that lifestyle and I look at them now. Um, I think to myself, you know what, I'm glad I kind of knocked it on the head because they're having conversations with me when I see them once in a while, like at a barbecue and they're all getting high and everything there and, and they're not making any sense, like it's just complete and utter crap that they're talking and I'm like, okay, I'm kind of glad I'm out of that now, so no, good times here. Right guys, I'm just going to say this game is bloody tough. Let's just go with, uh, let's go with Hanzu, right, because I just want that Dragon Punch and Fireball moveset. Um, but yeah, sobriety, sobriety is is definitely good. I mean, I'd always say to people, don't experiment with drugs at all because you don't know you're missing and you'll always kind of be good with that, right? But if you were... Um if you've uh, if you've given up so like, I, I had a bunch of friends right and, and they got a bit upset with me because when i when i went teetotal right they were like you know you you've kind of abandoned us you don't come and see us anymore right but understand like i, I even made it clear to them i said look if i see you guys at the very least right you guys are gonna be like mjing it right and the thing is if you've got that in my face i'm gonna get tempted by that so how do i how do i make sure i don't fall into that trap again right well, I don't hang out with you guys because you're always going to be doing that. So I had to cut off some of my friends. Um, my wife is very kind of anti-MJ lifestyle, so she didn't like it. And that's one of the things that I had to do. But yeah, man, I had to... There's certain friends I just had to... I had to I had to give up. Even though I like those guys, I had to give up. Um, I had to give up hanging out with them, man. Because if I did, right, I'll tell you one thing now. A person, right... If, if, if you've got friends that are good, right, you're either going to become good, or let's say you, let's say your friends are bad, right, and you're good. Just for an example, right? But if you're going to hang out with your friends, right, 
chances are, right, they're either going to turn you bad or you're going to make them better, right? You're not, it's difficult, right? You're, they're either going to bring you down or you're going to bring them up. So I can't, you know, being a family, I, I always say I listen to Guy or go home and be a family man, right? And for that reason, there's certain people I just thought, okay, it's not worth associating with them anymore because of the lifestyle choices that they have. They could, um, you know, if I get involved in that, yeah, I'm, I don't want to, I don't want to do it. So I guess that's that. <laughs> okay, I find it hard to do the moves uh, on this, on the Pro Controller. Ah, okay, managed to get a super, but I completely missed him. Okay, <laughs> World Heroes perfect. I got slammed. Right, let's pick another game. Uh, I'll have a look at. Actually, you know what? Let's go back in there a second. I won't continue. Let me have a look at chat. See if anyone's actually mentioned another game. Um, oh well. Okay, you know what? Electronas. That's what happens when you get older. And that's one of the reasons I knocked it on the head. I still remember. And I think I must have been around 25, 26. So we're going back a couple of decades now, right? So when I when I first started clubbing it at 18, like that's when I started clubbing, not earlier. People used to tell me that all these guys, they do the bumblebees and they get depressed for days. The come down is terrible. I, I couldn't understand it. I never ever got that come down, right? And I was like, nah, I, I got no idea what these what these guys are talking about, right? So when I got older, in my mid-twenties, I got that where I would go out and for half a week, guys, I would be depressed. And obviously, I started working out that, okay, it's because I'm going out, I'm overdoing it. And because of this, it's making me feel a little bit depressed. And that's one of the reasons I kind of knocked knocked the class A's on the head. They were just, they were mashing me up, man. Um, and it does do that to a lot of people. It does kind of depress you. It does make you ill. There's side effects that are associated with it. Now, don't get me wrong. Maybe people are different, but a lot of people I know that didn't kind of calm down on it have definitely had some uh, mental issues. I understand doing it recreationally once in a while. Yeah, I, I, I get that. Uh, and I've still got friends that I t associate with. Once in a while, they'll go out and they'll go crazy. Uh, let me read some chat. Uh, <laughs> yeah, early 90s. I think my one was like the mid 90s, you know, like, yeah, 95. In 95, I was 18, and that's when I kind of started it. 95. 95 to 2000 was peak, like, raving time. When I say raving, I never really went to many illegal ones. It was mainly nightclubs. I mean, nightclubs were pretty. You could get away with a lot back then in nightclubs, so they were pretty, they were pretty wild, man. I'm mostly sober now, might though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely Mr. Doobie, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't think even the rare occasions are gone, man. I met one of my friends who came, uh, one of my school friends, and then when he came around, everyone else come around, and it was like a party in there, man. But I had, I had to get out, otherwise I would have got involved in all of that again. <laughs> Do you know what, uh, Scandal? Your Saturday night is a cup of tea. I'm actually drinking like a berry-flavoured tango. It's actually rather nice. I want to go and take a sip in a second. Um... Wicked. Uh, yo, Philly's in the house. Wicked, Philly. I, I take it you finished watching the football. Zero the prototype. Wicked. Good to have you on board as well. Free we got catnip here. <laughs> I'm doing fine. Uh, okay, wicked. Yeah, that's good, man. That's a start, you know. You leave the class A, you're on class B, and eventually you may end up leaving class B. I mean, personally, I found with the MJ, it made me really, really paranoid. Like, I just started getting paranoid. And I don't know if that was a sign of me getting older, having the responsibilities, but it was just the fact that they're mixing some stuff in um, labs in there. I, I, I don't quite know. Um, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it's the family members. Uh, yeah, do you know what? They, they are like I've got, I've got some very, very close friends that I've made literally from 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 the internet. Definitely brought people together. I mean, I remember when. Oh, in the early days of the internet when Shora Yukim was out and we were meeting other guys that were into fighting games. I remember going to any other country, going to like Italy, going to Holland and going on there and being like, oh guys, yeah, look, I'm coming over. And then I'd meet like the Italian players, I'd meet like the Dutch players and, you know, they'd invite me around their house, I'd have a session with them, we'd go out for a munch and you end up making a lot of friends because you've got the same interest. There's no small talk. You like Street Fighter, you're going to play Street Fighter. Sipping. <laughs> Slipping uh, plum Mountain Dew, wicked. Well, you know what? Um, I kind of like Mountain Dew, man. I like it, but I drink the sugar-free one. I only drink sugar-free drinks, so the sugar-free one ain't as nice as the one with sugar. So let's um, let's now look at another 2D game. 
so let's go we've got arcade archive stuff um uh, where is um actually you know what there's a really good game this i don't know if anyone's seen this right this game is pure style guys right uh, pure pure style and i hope this comes out so this is something um the coin up collection have teased but like i always say they, they tease a lot only a small percentage of those actually make it out so let's kind of see what comes out in the future from them but this is something that they've kind of shown off and I, and I do hope we get like an fpg implementation of this someone actually recommended this on um on on chat on um or in the comments of one of the other videos they said have you seen zero team or zero team usa and i checked it out and i was like yeah you know what this game this game's legit man this game is proper proper legit uh, uh oh <laughs> i've never even made it to class C. sorry i'm reading that electro nash that's funny uh philly when is the big 24 How, you know what i don't think i could my wife's not away so i won't have anyone to change my nappy <laughs> Remember that, remember that uh, South Park episode where Cartman's playing uh, World of Warcraft? Man! Man! <laughs> he's coming around, she's coming around changing his nappy and he's just pooping his pants, man. That was a good episode. I don't think I could do a 24-hour one, man. That was, uh, that was mad. Like, um... I got up really early last night, uh, yesterday on Friday. I got up at 3 a.m. because my wife's flight, we had to be at the airport by 5. So we kind of got up, got the kids up, had breakfast, left my house, left my house early, man. Uh, in fact, no, I think we had to be at the airport at 6 a.m. I left my house at 5, right? Um, and I stayed up really, really late and I was zonked out. Like yesterday, I even left my glasses in the bathroom. I never do that. Uh, I always bring them out, man. Um yeah i was zonked out i don't think i could do a 24-hour stream man um not not without someone taking over i would like to do a charity stream one day though that is a good idea that is something maybe to work out but maybe that can be like a maybe a three hour stream i think three hours like my kind of limit after three limits after three hours i just kind of want to yeah i don't want to do it anymore same as like when i used to dj i think three hours was like my limit like after i've done that i wanted a little break man um, Plum Mountain Dew was a thing. Yeah, to be honest, yeah, I didn't even know Plum Mountain Dew was a thing either. We've only got, Electro Nash, we've only got the normal one here, haven't we? Mountain Dew. And we've got the silver colour one, which is um, the sugar-free one. Uh, Philly, yeah, this should be on uh, a Fightcade. Fightcade's got the whole Final Burn Neo ROM set. Uh, and it's got like DC stuff as well. So this this is on Final Burn Neo. So this will be on there. I did a one-week trial of Warcraft around 2009. Played it from about three yeah I, I couldn't do warcraft man my brother used to play it but you know what i think we're of um i think you're a bit younger than me ash but i'm off that generation when it came out i just wasn't interested in uh, in playing it like i think if i got into like an rpg a massively multiplayer one uh fantasy star would have been my thing i always rated fantasy star I just never played it to that extent okay so that was darkberry uh tango sugar free taking a sip out of that right let's give this a whirl man guys okay right seriously okay let's go let's go speed shall we yeah let's go speed right so i love the beginning look how cool that looks man <laughs> i just love it look the ninjas they're always kidnapping your girl right what about that Oh, uh, Rubicon, I haven't seen a sugar-free one. Uh, I haven't seen a sugar-free one of Rubicon. Uh, my kids like that. They love the mango stuff, man. I don't know what it is. It's sweet. So, you don't ride the scooter. Oh, you punch the scooter. I thought you could pick it up. So, you know, always test this. Uh, you can't um, double dash forward. The specials are quite good in this. They kind of look, I think it's... Yeah, look, the lightning one. That looks, that looks wicked. <laughs> I like that guy. He's an innocent bystander. You punch him and look, he just runs off. Yeah, you can't punch him again, which is nice. <laughs> again, very, very stylish, this game, man. I felt like it, it could have been made better with maybe more of a moveset. Or th there's some things in, in this game that stop it from being like from a good game to like a very, very great game. I mean, it is, it is a good game. I just feel like it hasn't got the biggest moveset. But this game, it looks very, very stylish, man. I do, I do like it. And this is, this is the kind of game that, you know, on a CRT, on a CRT, it's gonna look 
it's gonna look wicked, right? And this is a game, I never played this in the arcade, knew nothing about it until someone in one of the comments said, yeah, you need to check this game out. And I was like, yeah, you know what? This game is, this game is wicked. I, I like it, I like it a lot. Ooh, treasure. <laughs> that guy cracks me up, guys. He reminds me of, um, anyone remember? Anyone remember Desperate Desperate Dan from the Dandy comics, right? With the big chin, look. <laughs> That's him now, with his little uh, cornrow haircut. <laughs> I'm gonna get in the van. Get in the van, there's free sweets, kids. <laughs> Don't get in the van. Again, look at the art style, man. It's just wicked. I think you can smash that fish tank, actually. No? Yeah, street meat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nah, okay. I must have thought, thought it completely wrong. Thinking you could... Uh, it would be cool, right? If you could smash that tank and... Uh, the fishes come out and, uh, you know, the, the, the shark comes out and chomps on one of the bad guys. You know what? Even chomps on you, right? Uh, so this is, is this like the boss stage? Oh, there you go. Now that looks like a boss, doesn't it? Oh, look, and there's two of them. <laughs> See, again, stylish, right? I like how those two kind of hillbilly-looking guys are there, and you think, oh, that's a little bit. Ah, oh, I forgot about the dragon punch. How was it? Oh, how do I... Oh, I forgot how you do it. There's a, there's a command for it. Need to work that out. Oh, no. Pick, oh, yeah, she's got the fast punch. Ah, look, she came in and, uh... She might be the best character, look at that! I mean, wow, the things she can do with those hands, right? <laughs> wow. Okay, so there was a command for, for like, the specials. I just can't remember what it was now. Because the guy's got a dragon punch, man, and that was good. Yo, Electro Nash, no worries, my, uh, my bro. Have a good night, man. Always a pleasure. Thank you for dropping by, man. Uh, speak to you soon. Um, right, okay, so let's... Um... Look at that. that guys, seriously, when you, when, you, when you play this game, try out this character. Look at that. She proper... That is a proper beast slap, man. <laughs> Look at that. That is just wicked. I think the special's the same. Yeah, pretty much. They've all got, um... What's it? I'm trying to work out what the special is, man. No, I can't remember. Right, let's uh, let's move on to something else. But this is Zero Team. Definitely check this game out, guys. You know, you can check it out on em emulation as well. You don't necessarily uh, need to play this on the Switch. So, wicked, wicked. Um... Oh, this is this is good. Blazing Chrome. This is like a, a Contra one. Uh, let's get this started and let me have a look at some chat. Some chat. Oops. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who that, uh, the big chin guy, the real actor is as well. Robert J. Zdarsky, apparently. He had a big chin. Okay, cool. I'm not really um, familiar with that actor. If you're still there, Ash. If not, Wicked, good night. Um, Tango and Cash was a good movie, man. I remember that. Yeah, Tango and Cash was, was very, very good. Very, very good. Loved it. That's the one where uh, he had the grenade in his mouth, right? And he can't speak. 
and this is his mouth is sellotaped something was that lethal weapon that i'm thinking of or was that tango and cash either way um yeah i like tango and cash i remember being in school and you know someone mentioning it telling me imagine guys do you remember when you were in school right and one of your friends would watch a movie and he'd tell you about the movie and he'd pretty much tell you the whole movie and, and you'd still want to so badly see it right i mean this is the days where vhs tapes went around dvds weren't even out you know when something was on tv guys do you remember the days when a movie was on tv and the next day in school everyone was talking about it because that literally was the only entertainment you had there wasn't any netflix there wasn't anything out there so when a movie was out on a tv everyone watched it oh i just noticed the electron ash love tango and cash in the 90s on vhs oh yeah baby vhs i i really really regret uh getting rid of a lot of my uh a lot of my old technology man a lot of the old stuff you know thinking oh out with the old the 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 classic Aladdin kind of thing, right? You know, out with the old, in with the new, and then only to realize that you want that old stuff back, you know? I remember like dumping CRTs and giving them away and moving out of a place and leaving CRTs there. Only, you know, wow, and only to wish, wow, I really had those CR uh, CRTs. I had some really, really good ones at one point. Uh, and now that's the stuff that we like. But you know what, guys? It, it is what it is, right? So this this game is good. They've got another game out as well. I can't remember what it's called. I think I've got it as well. Uh, that one, that one, I, I like this one better than the other one. This one just, it just feels very, very. You know what? Oof, I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go easy, man. Cause this game is rather tough. Gotta go. Gotta go. Doyle, right? Doyle just looks cool. Okay. Got that left and right to move. Yep. Guys, there, there's a game um, that I saw someone uh, point out on. Um, someone pointed out on um, on Twitter. I want to be the guy. Oh, guys, it is nuts. I downloaded it. I could just get past like the first screen, not even the first level. It was just nuts. Hey, Simply Austin, how are you? Die Hard would be on TV and nobody would be out. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Those were the days. Uh, those were the days, Austin, right? When it was on TV, everyone was just, everyone just watched it. It was the talk of the town, man. Uh, it was like, yes, like we watched it. And you know what? If you didn't watch it, right? Well, like your parents were like, no, you can't watch this because you're too young. It's too violent. Um, you kind of felt left out, man. You were like the odd kid out in school. Um, but those were the days, and I, and I miss those days, man. I don't know. I always chase the nostalgia, but that's one thing I like about this retro gaming community. All of you guys chase that nostalgia too. So I'm not like the mad guy just always saying, I miss those days. But man, I'm going to say, I really, really do miss those days, man. Really, really do miss those days. Okay. Um, again, guys, this is... So Contra 3 is like my favourite Contra. I know there's other ones out there. Look, even at the beginning where you've got a car in Contra, you've got half a car here. Guys, this is, as far as I'm concerned, like this is the best homage or the best kind of spiritual successor for those 2D Contras. Specifically, that SNES era Contra. It just looks so much like it, man. Um, the R was to, yep, cool. Okay, what's the... Again, wicked. <laughs> That's a mad weapon, man. I'm not sure if I like that. I think I prefer the normal fire. Maybe use that at some point. And guys, this goes on sale for like relatively cheap as well at times. So it's it's worth picking up. Again, just like contrary to where you hang. It looks so cool, man. Oh wow, what weapon have I got there, wicked? Ah. Love those effects, how they kind of look big and kind of zoom in and they just wicked. Oh, sorry, zoom out, right? They're big and then they zoom out. Wicked game, seriously. Do you know what I have to say? It's amazing playing the Switch on a TV screen. I just don't do it often enough. Yeah, I like this weapon. Oh, 
I also fill it man thank you yeah for for the help with the uh, the x68000 it's, it's a really good system uh, we'll do we'll do a stream on that soon um, I'll try and give you a heads up as well I'll try and plan it so I'll make sure you're around as well to kind of at least tell me what the best games and everything are on that that thing is ugly man Again, great power-ups in this, man. Ah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, guys absolutely seriously look at that man feels like feels like i'm back on the snes even though this this is probably beyond the snes's capability but it's hard to say that now because when we look at all the new games like look at earthion uh yuzo koshiro's um new horizontal shmup that's coming out for the mega drive that's really really pushing the mega drive to its limits looks absolutely wicked so who knows right if this will be possible on uh yeah, on the SNES. Love the melee attacking this as well, man. Wicked game. Wicked game. <laughs> Yo, bro. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's really funny, right? When you use the word bro in front of your kids. And, um, and like, you know, if you speak into your friend on the phone, you call bro. And, and your kids call you bro. And you're like, don't call me bro, I'm your dad. They're like, oh, sorry, bro. And like winding up my, my youngest kid, I'm missing him already, man. I'm missing, you know, my wife and my two boys. Um, the house is so quiet without them, man. Like, what are they? They're like eight and nine, man. Always fighting. In fact, one of them is going to be 10 in uh, in May. Um, always fighting, but absolutely, I miss, I miss like the noise uh, that they make, you know, uh, all the time. Um, see, I can't wait for them to come back. They're coming back like, oh, actually, they've, they've taken an extra week off school. Um, and that is, so they're coming back on like the 19th. So it's going to be like a, a boringish two and a half weeks. So I am off work though. So I should really, you know, be able to do some videos and um, maybe do a few more live streams in between. I'm actually trying to actually play games without filming stuff. Um, scramble. Yeah, do you, oh, do you know what? Um, so Simply Austin, um, there's a few things that I tried on it. Like um, I tried Super Street Fighter 2 on there and that, looked a little bit mash up but um, a lot of the stuff is working really 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 well on it man and some of the arcade ports on it just look absolutely fantastic yeah this easy mode gives a lot of chances man <laughs> right let's try something else was in there don't call me bro i'm your dad yeah that's kind of like what i said man but then they'll start calling me bro now <laughs> bro even more get rid of a uh, big crt <laughs> that's definitely the case right i mean you pay to get rid of stuff right i mean yes it's 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 nuts it's um absolutely nuts right you know and and there's people that will take that stuff and say like wow we like look at that I need to play these games more, man. I need to I need to play a game and go, you know what? I'm going to complete this game. I was thinking about it, and the last game that I actually completed was Metroid Dread. I do like Metroidvanias a lot. Um, I'm kind of... I want to play Prince of Persia, but I, from what I've seen of it, I know some of the jumping parts are a bit too platformy for my liking. I don't know how much I'll like that game, but um, I should give it a shot at some point. Okay, let me, let's put on something else. I've got too many lives here on this. Um, let's go, okay. Let's go all the way to the bottom and maybe work our way to the top, right? Oh, okay, so these are these are some of the Toplan games, so we can have a look at some of them. Uh, we've also got a Cotton game here. The Wonder Boy. Oh, should we do Wonder Boy? Let's do what? Guys, have a look. If there's anything here you guys want to see, let me scroll through the list again, so if there's anything... Um, anything here just mention it in comments uh we'll do kind of wonder boy next um because uh, i was checking out wonder boy recently on um on the unlock pocket something that uh, boogerman will be releasing shortly 
Uh, I can't remember. He told me the order he was going to release the games in. This is really good as well, guys. Shinobi, uh, really, really good. Uh, it's a good way of completing it as well. You've got like a, a different version of Shinobi where you've got... Um, We've got an additional hit and it really, really does help. And you can rewind and everything as well. Yo, LL, how you doing, man? Um, hope you're all having a great day. Wicked. Um, yeah, no, wicked, man. LL, yeah, to be honest, I just wanted to play some games, man. And I've got um, I've got quite a lot of 2D games on here as well. So that was good. Uh, I got 32 in Trinitron for, for free in perfect condition. Weighs 200 pounds. Wow. Is that the actual weight? That's almost 100 kilos, right? We're talking like 90 kilos there or something. That is insane. Um... Yeah, remember we had to call people around to move it, man. Uh, though I wish I had space for CRT. See, the thing is, I have got space for a CRT, but if I if I put the CRT, it'll only be a small one, like a 14-inch one, right? Now, if I have that CRT there, oh, it just means I'll lose my second... Sorry, let me put the volume down a bit. Uh, I'll lose my second screen. Oh, let me put my volume down as well. Yeah, I, I, I'll lose my second screen that I, I use for editing, right? So, yeah, I need to do the editing. Uh, Volga, yeah, Volga's good, but it's, it's tough as well. Like, Rastan, okay, so what we got here, right? Okay, so, we'll do, we'll do... Okay, I'm gonna have to go Tom Tom. Ooh, what a great soundtrack, guys. Give me the axe for the hammer thing. Okay, this is this is good, guys. For any 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 Wonder Boy fans out there that played the OG like, what do you guys think? Like, first glance, guys, I am impressed. Okay, so you lose health on the stone. So I don't know this too well right so you definitely have to dodge the stones i thought you could go on top of them i feel like i feel like his hammers are getting a little bit further but maybe that this is because this is a widescreen game and that's why i didn't have chat on for this because i knew some of the games we're going to play are going to be widescreen so i just thought chat can be like provided by youtube right rather than be on the screen hopefully i won't have to and see the thing is if i if if there's anything i need to edit out from a live stream that i feel like shouldn't be in there um in the replay then the chat completely goes and to be honest i haven't edited out a stream for a long long time i think the last time i edited it was um was when my mom was staying with me but she she's she's like yeah she's staying with my brother now she's been there for like the past three months now uh but yeah she's uh like i mentioned before she's got dementia so she won't remember anything so she kind of barged into my room and was showing me um a toy that she got for my kids you yeah, were very excited about it so i kind of edited that part out um, but yeah, I don't think I've had to edit anything in any of my streams for a while, man. So, uh, you know, hopefully chat will just be available via YouTube. Now, it's not available straight away. It's usually available, um, like, uh, after YouTube does, like, its processing thing, which is, which is usually, um, I don't know, like, maybe 24 hours later, or a number of hours later anyway. I feel this game's done a good job of, uh, recreating a modern version of this game, you know, guys. And I feel like some of the Sega ones have. Uh, Wonder Boy 3 as well. I don't know if I've got it on here. Um, the Wonder Boy 3... The Wonder Boy 3 game um, is... Um, it lets you swap between, like, classic mode, same way uh, Alex Kidd does, right? Alex Kidd lets you swap between... Um, between classic mode and modern mode, which is really, really nice, right? Because you can just go get yourself that little aesthetic of... Um, of that classic mode and uh, right okay let's let's try something else but yeah you can go between that classic mode and um and like the the modern mode at, at the press of a button so you can just chop and change it didn't want to say anything there yep 90s is crazy yeah it was definitely heavy uh ash needs tp for bum bum yeah well i think most people need tp for bum bum man otherwise uh, you know you'll have uh you may have uh you may well you may not have the cleanest uh bum bum uh right no one's come out with a game so until someone mentions a game let's check this out bubble bubble for friends so, uh, i've been playing like a little bit of bubble symphony later but man the, the, those guys over on the mr fpj discord man someone's got a score of like two million lord dot lord dot if you're watching a big shout out to you for that massive score shane lynch was approaching a million uh, and i think my best score was maybe maybe just touching half a million um so maybe i'll give that another shot at some point um 
I don't know if I'll do it on a mister or if I'll do it lie, lying in bed on, on like a handheld or something. But that's the great thing about it. And, and I didn't know that until uh, Mario, uh, a user, was kind enough to point it out to me, which was you don't have to do the challenge just on the mister. You can do it on, on, a, on a software emulator that runs the Sega Saturn or a Sega Saturn uh, itself, as long as you're playing the Saturn version, which I thought was good. Oh, okay. So we've got OG Bubble Bobby Bubble here, yeah. So let's go, let's go check out OG Bubble Bubble before we do the friends one. Oh, that's interesting. Interesting, interesting. Oops. Again, what a soundtrack. Let's put this up because that last game was quite loud. Ah! Okay, darn. What am I doing? What am I doing? Ah, oh, that's why. Okay, yeah, because <laughs> right. So B is jump and A is bubble, and that always confuses me, man. Really hate that setup. Uh, unless I play, actually, what isn't bad is Y is also uh, attacks, so and then B can kind of work as jump. Says so it's, it's that. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Oops. Y is yeah. Y is bubble and B is jump. So that's that. That's cool. I can I can work with that. One of the best, most iconic gaming soundtracks right here, guys. Absolutely love it. Happy times in the arcade. Alright, you know what? I'm just not doing a good job of this. Let's get out of this. How do we get out? I'll return to World Select. Okay, let's see what this new version of Bubble Bubble is uh, like. Hey, Ninja. Uh, oh, Ninja Running Wild, I did actually answer your comment on YouTube. Um, I spoke to Hotego this morning um, and he, he confirmed that it was an error. So uh, that's been removed. Um, the games weren't ready to go out. The only one that was close to ready was Pac-Mania. The rest of them had a lot of graphical glitches. So understand that errors happen sometimes. Um, I don't know if that was to do with like the back end stuff and things going out that shouldn't have gone out because a lot of the processes are actually automated. So Ninja Running Wild, um, they've been withdrawn. They shouldn't have been out in the first place because even a Patreon post, um, when you read it, it says it did actually say that um, how do we go? Uh, right, the Patreon post actually said um, Pac Mania is close to a release for a beta, you know. So, obviously, even that confirms that that was a mistake. So, they got withdrawn. Uh, but hopefully, with, with, if all goes to plan, they'll be available this Friday. So, you know, I heard it from the horse's mouth himself. Uh, right, how do I. Oh, okay. Is this the normal game? Yeah, this, this got to be the normal game, right? Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. Kind of like Bob. Like, like that blue colour. So let's see how faithful this one is like to the original ones. <laughs> Sniper Mike UK. Well, you know what? I, I do like a lot of potato stuff. Not just because it sounds like potato. And I like chips which are made out of potatoes, right? Uh, there you go. That's how you link a whole bunch of stuff, right? Okay, blow bubbles, jump, jump. Okay, cool. Simple enough. Again, I'm digging a soundtrack. Okay, free chain. Ah, I don't even want to read all of that. Right, let's let's do this. Ah. Okay, if you kind of tap down, if not, you keep jumping them. So controls are a little bit different, or the way you pop the bubbles and everything are different to the other. Bubble Bubble games, they're, they're, they're a little bit different how the bubbles kind of operate between um, between other between other games. So this one, look, you can keep bouncing. You don't need to hold the button down like in the original Bubble Bubble. Uh, in order to pop the bubbles, you need to tap down or jump up at them like that over there. Come over here and get into a bubble. Yeah, this is decent, guys.
Yeah, this is this is decent. It's a nice nice okay. <laughs> Surely feels like you can jump on those Lego pieces, right? <laughs> you can crawl in there, that's funny. Interesting. And that's something I, I need to play more games, but that's why I want to get another analog pocket to, to just play. So I can whack it in my bag and that's like my playing unit. And the good thing is I can always swap memory cards. So if I'm, you know, working on something, I can take the memory card out and use that in like my normal one and whatnot, you know? Okay, I was hoping you could jump, um, jump and then kind of slide. Yeah, interesting, guys. Yeah, this is this is a game worth getting. Did, they, did anyone mention another game in here? They're in Bubble. <laughs> yeah, I, lo I, I love Bubble Bubble, man. I mean, I'm, I'm more of the Rainbow Islands fan. I kind of like the original, but I really like Bubble Symphony. I need to try Bubble Memories as well. Someone kind of mentioned that in comments earlier in one of the videos. And uh, yeah, I don't really know much about it. Uh, but that'd be a good game to check out, right? Okay, let's uh, let's move on to something else. You guys aren't really mentioning any games, so I'm just going to go and start picking some... Um, Okay, this is this is a weird game. I don't know if anyone's seen this. Uh, this is a very very weird game, man. Like it's it's weird, but it's so weird. I, I kind of like it, man. It's just it's just kind of nuts. Have you heard anything from Cypy Team? Okay, so I feel like the latest with the Cypy Team is uh, based on the feedback they received uh, from myself and all of the community over on Discord, YouTube, Reddit. Um, they, they're not going with that. Uh, they're not going with that two um, the two inch model. So they're still going to start with a twenty five k logic element version, but it's going to be three point five inch uh, three point five inch screen minimum. Now I'm emphasizing to them. I, I'm not technical enough. I'm like speak. I'm telling them, look, you're in touch with developers. Make sure you get a screen that scales well to integer scaling. You know, as like for multiple different systems as well as that like I've, I've, I've explained that look guys like the the d-pad is paramount we need a good d-pad right having a good fpga device and having an, a d-pad that's not accurate is having like a ferrari but having a steering wheel that just doesn't quite work properly so uh yeah two inch was too small for sure but the their initial plan was two inch 3.5 inch seven inch so they wanted to kind of test the waters with a two inch screen if sales went well to go, kind of go with a larger but it seems like they're still going to go with that 25k one but they're going to go for a 3.5 inch screen and it's a bit of a shame for them because they actually got quite far in the design work for that because um they actually gave me all like their mock-ups before uh, and then when they got like the, the, the later designs done that's what we what i kind of showed on the channel what they kind of tweeted but they, they i went through all the process with them and they were showing me all the stuff so they invested quite a bit of time and i imagine money in getting it to that stage only to scrap it but ultimately i think that's the correct decision because a lot of us have got old eyes man i mean i wear, I wear very focal glasses you know for, for long range and for for close-up right look look low my eyes aren't what they used to be and a lot of us guys that are going to be playing retro games aren't going to have like that sharp vision we did when we're young so yeah i agree two inches is very very small i mean it'll be an interesting device to have i don't know how much i would play it right so yeah i think i think that's good even if it's a 25k logic element one cool we can um we can uh, we can run NES on it. N Nanta Mario's got SNES working on it, but it doesn't do every single chip. Hence, it doesn't do every single game yet. But it does do a large amount of the catalog. So that will be interesting um, to get on there. So NES and SNES are two cores that will be coming on there. Um, 
you know, if uh, if SIP get on with developers and they give out units to developers and developers are interested in porting their cores over, Mazamars is, is fairly interested in porting uh, the Neo Geo, uh, Vertex Neo Geo core over that he ported over to uh, the Unlock Pocket, but that's not going to fit on a 25k model. So that, that might fit on like the larger 60k Logic uh, Element one. But again, I am not from that technical understanding where I, I don't know what will work, right? I, I've consulted with them, but as a gamer, what works with controls, what you should be doing. Now, how you should do it, that's for them to kind of figure out. I can tell you this will work, this will work, but I can't give you a full technical breakdown. If I could, then I'd be in a different <laughs> line of work than what I am now, right? Uh, you know, like I always say, I'm a guy that, that plays games, right? And, and I've got this channel. I'm not very te technologically advanced, so like all the characters play distinctively different and I don't know what one I've gone with. Okay, so this guy is always kind of crawling, right? Little ninja guy. Guys, this seriously, when I say this game is weird, right? So there's a special there. Just figuring out the buttons there. I mean, there's a bit here where you get cursed by a sheep and you become a sheep and that is what kind of drew me to this game. Like it's nuts, like watch this next bit here now. You get this stuff, a dial, okay, sub up. Okay, cool, so that's that's good. It is just nuts. Oh guys, what's the time? Oh, I might I might be about another 15 more minutes for this stream, you know. I was kinda quite and get put off at 11. Like look, it's just nuts here, man. Do I get a big foot here or can't remember what happens here now? Look at that! I'm fighting a giant hand, it's just nuts, that wants to squish me. You got, oh, look how weird this game is, right? It's the, it's the weirdness that attracted me to this game, it's just... I mean, don't get me wrong, the controls and everything aren't exactly great for this. So this is on the same arcade hard hardware as a game called Act Fencer, which is another very, very difficult game. It's a game that I used to watch more than play. So I could change character. Let's go with this guy that's got the punch, right? Like, look here, seriously, look how nuts it is, look. We can jump on the head platforming star. I forgot about that. Oh, there's a bit of life back there. Never mind. Oh, look at that. Okay, well, they were going to help me, man. They helped the bad guys. <laughs> soundtrack actually nuts seriously guys this game is just nuts okay down what is going down my health I don't even know <laughs> Okay, I think this is the bit where I'm going to fight a sheep. Good soundtrack. I think if I have to remember to uh, use this as a, as a soundtrack for a video at some point. It's weird enough for me to really, really like. I only, only got a little bit of health. Let's see if we can get to the, to the sheep. This is start. <laughs> Will it let me? If I'm gonna do the beginning of the level, then I'm gonna move over to the next game. This game's just okay. Let's have a look.
Okay. Wow. Okay. I think it's sheep time. You've got to see this sheep, right? I just want to get to the sheep part. You're going to see what happens. And it's it's nuts, man. I mean, that wheel just... That wheel bumps you a lot of times, man. <laughs> yeah, look, there we go. I go behind it? No. This is annoying. TV. I can move it up and punch there. Okay, nice. Guys, check this out. This this bit here is nuts, right? If you know this game, you know this game, right? This is why I'm so fascinated with this game, right? Where's this bit? Hopefully it happens, right? And it doesn't skip it, right? Let's see. Come on. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I am now the sheep. Look at seriously how crazy does this game get? Like I, I can't imagine seeing this in the arcade and being like, okay, this is this is the game that I played. I mean, I would have played it, but guys, this game is this game is bonkers, absolutely bonkers. Trio the punch, that's what it's called. Uh, it's available in arcade archive. No FPGA implementation yet. Uh, this is something that I think um, Mars have teased, but you know Mars have teased and, and shown of a lot of games. So let's see if any of them come out or. If any of these come out for the Mr. Yellow Pocket, just nuts. Look at that. Am I still the sheep? Right, let's let's try something else. Anyone say yeah, ninja exactly. WTF is this? This is just nuts, man. Um, how do I output games to YouTube? Uh, I use OBS, so I've got a capture card. The switch gets plugged into the capture card and that goes into OBS, so... Okay, let's put on something else. Uh, something with a little bit of a demo so we can... We can start something. Uh, I can look at chat again. Um, let's try something a little bit interesting. Um... Ooh, okay. Oh, I really like this game, you know, Cruising Blast. I, I like it. It's not 2D, though, so we're not going to look at it today. Uh, this is really good. I'm kind of yet to play it and start it. I like this as well. This is good. Um, oh, this is layer section. Layer section. Okay, actually, let's see if there's anything that's not quite out for anything yet. Um, okay, let's have a look at Prinny. So these games were out originally for the Vita. And, and I've always, always liked the printy games, man. I think the printy games are really, really good. Let's have a look. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, man. Um, yeah, but original Bubble Bubbles, wicked, man. Like, wicked game. I, I like the sequels as well. Try uh, try Bubble uh, Bubble Symphony on the Sega Saturn or on... Uh, uh, you can try it on Mame or Final Burn, Neil via, uh, via uh, Tato F3 hardware emulation. It's really good. You heard Dr. Johnny Bananas in the house, man. Thanks for coming in for uh, for a non Mr. stream. Appreciate that. <laughs> uh, Super Mike UK, you're going to lose an hour of your life tonight. Do you know what, Super Mike? All good. I'll gain it back in October, man, if I lose that one hour. That's all good. Three hour, three hour line should be count, uh, the clock change. Wicked. I'm, I'm good with the clock change. I'm off work, man. So I'm, I'm mellow. Um, the only thing I've got to do is I've got to go somewhere tomorrow. Oh, actually, no, I've got, I've got, I've got a, I've got a, um, a little. Got to help my brother with something, and then after that, I've got to buy my daughter noodles from her favorite noodle place. Like, 
sweet and sour chicken noodles, I think, and spicy chicken noodles or something. So she she wants that. I said, in fact, I was actually supposed to go and get it today, but there was a football game on, which would have affected uh, traffic in the area, right? Which would have been, um, which, uh, yeah, it just means traffic's at a standstill. So I said to her, look, let's leave it today and I'll go and get the noodles tomorrow. And here's the thing, I'll have some of the noodles as well. Like, they do a really big portion for like 10 pounds and it's massive, it's massive. It's enough for two people. Uh, so that's, that's oh, I'll have some of those noodles as well. I'm not the biggest fan, but you know what? I don't mind them so much. Here we go, dude. Guys, seriously, this game, absolute 2D goodness. There's a way you can dance. I can't remember how you do that now. Oh, here we go. Look, we I'm dancing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it gets tired then. Again, like how, look, when you attack, it kind of... Actually, I don't know how I feel about that, right? It's only, what I think, yeah, it's only when you do the jump attack, it goes like that. So push Y. Uh, y. Okay, always have to look. Okay. Okay, so there's double jump from the word go. Good stuff. I always like games that have double jump from the word go. And guys, if anyone, um, if you're wondering what this is, so this is, uh, okay. Um, so, um, yeah, this is the Disgaea games, um, which I've really tried to get into, right? But uh, um, I've, I've had difficulty getting into those kind of Tactical strategy games, right? Uh, which are Disgaea, but man, this is wicked. There's a part one and a part two for it, and it is just a wicked game. And you would think apples are good for health, yet these apples are out to get you, man. Look at that, 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 that little piggy thing reminds me of a. Uh, you know, in Star Wars, okay, Return of the Jedi scene, you know that little beast in the pit at Jabba the Hutt, and that, that little minion, or, yeah, the, not the minion, or the henchman of Jabba gets eaten, that's what that kind of pig with a helmet reminded me of. Look, that one there, look, really does remind me of that, so it should have... What's that say? Okay. Press the R button plus up and down, okay. Oh, okay, interesting. Whoops. I keep pressing down to do that drop, but it's actually jumping down, right? Yeah. Not just down by itself. Okay, yeah. okay, so I can squat down here. It's interesting how it teaches you everything, right? Like, like, like a lot of good games, and around the PSP you started getting that, use hit pound, okay, cool. That looks so cool. What's the tip now? Oh, plus six to lift the problems. Okay, cool, we can do that. <laughs> I love it. I missed the tip, but hopefully I can figure it out. Okay. Left, right, left. Okay, if he can dash, nice. Okay, kind of done like the first stage there, but guys, this is a wicked game. So this game is called Prinny, uh, although, let me just quickly show you. This one here, Prinny, can I really be the hero? So guys, if you ever see sometimes I, I spell the word dude, D-O-O-D, and the reason that I spell it dude is because whenever Prinny speaks, uh, or in this game, or in like the Discare games, they always they always say dude, like with a D-O-O-D. -O -O -D -O -O -D. 
So, yeah, I've, I've, I've taken it from that. People always let you spell it wrong. Well, I am spelling it wrong, I know that, but I'm kind of doing it on purpose because of my love for this game. And uh, this is available for the PSP. Sorry, I might have said PS, PS, uh, PS Vita before. Uh, because uh, I kind of use the PSV a, a lot more than the PSP. But for the PSP, my battery's gone. I bought a replacement battery and that's gone as well now. So, um, yeah, this is a great game. It's out for Switch now. But if not, um, you know, uh, a PSP with custom firmware is really good. They've got stores now where you can pretty much just get every single game, like community-made ones, right? So, you know, if you can't find it for your PSP or the PS Vita, if you've got a hacked one, you can get it all from there, man. And uh, I recommend these games, man. They're very, very good 2D games. I mean, I put it on here and you can see it for yourself. And I definitely feel this game's a hidden gem because I feel not many people talk about this game. I, feel, I, I really do think it's a fantastic, fantastic game. Fantastic game. Okay, one more round. Should be a wicked. All right, we're going to try something else. But wicked. Yeah, do you know what? Yeah, 2.5 rather than 3D. Yeah, yeah, you know what? But I'll go with the glass half empty or the glass half full kind of thing. Yeah, 2.5D, close enough. I mean, the main part is 2D, isn't it? It goes into that 2.5D when you do that kind of special in it. It goes out, which I feel is unnecessary. You don't really need it. But I kind of do like the game for what it is. So very very stylish let's have a look there you go look the remember i was saying about dude uh yo okay out dude <laughs> so when i heard it in this i was like you know what yeah this is how i this is how i like it i'm gonna i'm gonna like this so what does that orb give me i should actually just maybe like play this game right um but i'm gonna try and play um i'm gonna try and play cyberpunk because i kind of started that um and i kind of liked it i picked like the nomad and that's that's what i've gone with um, let's have a look at a little bit of the intro because like with, if you know the Disgaea games you know like the dialogue and the story and like the little cutscenes are just really really good uh, this game's no exception to that it is just really really good man really really good so you know getting to the point of the Nintendo Switch yeah for 3D not so great right you're better off with uh, one of the handheld PCs Steam Deck, Rogue Ally, one of the GPD, Aya Neo I mean you've got a lot of devices out there right but when it comes to uh, 2D stuff, the Switch is wicked, man. <laughs> Switch is just wicked. Yeah, Scandal, this game, this game's wicked, man. Like, really, really like it. Look at the whole dialogue. That's someone from this game. And look, the little uh, pretty dudes all, like, sweating. Uh, they're like the pawns. They're like the minions in, like, the Disgaea games. And I guess you're one of the minions out there doing a little something, you know, doing... Kind of making your mark, right? But wow, okay. I, I can go on about this game for a long, long time. But you know what? Let's do one more game, guys. It's kind of like 11. Effectively, by tomorrow's time, it'll be midnight in 24 hours time. Yep, because the clocks are going forward. Um, so, yeah, maybe... I do like taking a handheld to bed. Uh, you know, especially now, like my wife's away. Um, I will just be playing the handheld. Um, let's see if there's anything here. Okay, let's see, let's see if unless someone's missing. Your friend. Haha, <laughs> wicked. No, no, no worries, uh, Dr. Johnny Bananas. Do appreciate, man. I always appreciate you kind of popping uh, over on a channel with your positivity. All right, let's finish with this, right? Because I absolutely love Snow Brothers. And um, initially, when I thought this came out, I thought this was like an arcade archives kind of Snow Brothers. But guys, this is, this is amazing. And... It goes on sale. I've seen this on sale for like £1.79 or something. So put it on your wish list. Unfortunately, uh, Nintendo, they don't notify you the way uh, the way Steam notifies you when something on your wish list is on sale. But oh, guys, seriously, this game is this game is wicked they've just done so much to it. It's widescreen. It looks good. Like I'm a fan of the original, right? So uh, if, if this wasn't good, I'd be like, nah, I don't like this, right? But you've got, look, you've got different modes in there, right? You can see on your screen, arcade, you've got a normal arcade mode on there. Um, right, okay, and then you've got survival, monster challenge, right? Uh, you select the monster into the Snow Brothers, most of them require certain conditions. Uh, so you you can unlock, like, the, the, the enemies in this and actually use them. So you've got different options in there. But we've got monster challenge, look, sorry, I haven't... Okay, I haven't actually unlocked any. I thought I did. Uh, but I have got different switches around the house. So 
I may have done this on a different one. I definitely unlocked the first two, like these two. But then you can unlock all of these as you kind of play the game. So, yeah, I need to... Uh, but there you go, look. So when you pick this one, his, his special attack is, uh, you know, roll forwards and attack down plus jump. And then you've got all different ones. As you kind of go later, self-destruct, down plus jump. Uh, what's this one here? You've got all these different enemies. What's this one here? That kind of looks... You've got a gargoyle with free movement and... Um, and uh, whatever it is, a kind of spear in his hand, right? Um, again, just absolutely amazing. So if you like Snow Brothers and you end up playing it, you'll get all these unlocks and you can go through and do this. But unfortunately, I haven't got any of the enemies unlocked, so we can't have a look at those. But guys, wow, wow, wow. Like seriously, just the way it starts, this game is really, really good. And, and out of many of the games that I've shown here, I recommend this one, especially when it goes on sale. Like pick it up like one pound i'm pretty sure it was like one pound 79 right on on sale it just yeah it's very very good value for like see a lot of the older games if you're competing against someone for a high score it gives you incentive to play it this one gives you incentive to play it because well you can unlock pretty much every single enemy in the game and then control them which is just absolutely nuts man pepper I was looking to get pepper grinder. Oh, what's pepper grinder? I'm not sure what pepper grinder. I've got a pepper grinder on my kitchen table, but I, I imagine that's not what you're talking about. Uh, pro tip: if you do want a pepper grinder from your uh, for, for for actual pepper, Poundland have them, and surprisingly, there's still a pound in there. It's not like everything. Oh, guys, look at this now. Honestly, it looks so good. I ended up almost believing that this is what the original looked like after playing it for some time, right? Ooh. Let's get that power up as well. Forget, okay, snow plus power shot. So now I should have a longer shot and I should have a bigger shot as well. So. Always look out for those ones that go down. And once I get one here, I should be able to get all of them. Okay. Ah! See, this the, the pop. I was looking at the snowball, thinking I'm popping out of there, and there I did. I just kind of pop straight out there. So, so Snow Brothers 2, which I think is an alright game. I prefer Snow Brothers 1. You can actually move it down and jump and go down a platform, Shinobi style. Um, so yeah, man. Again, good and it's nice. They they've kind of made it widescreen, but nothing squashed. It's not like a expanded thing out there. It just works. So those ones actually fire before they go down. Okay, that was a little bit different. Very, very mellow soundtrack as well. This always reminds me of like a close friend of mine, Chris, who kind of introduced me to this game. And uh, absolutely, yeah, me and him used to play in the arcade. But you know, funnily enough, even though you can play two players in the arcade, we never really played two players in the arcade, right? Uh, we always played like one player and just took turns. And that's how a lot, a lot of the games were, right? Two players that started getting a little bit messy and, and one player was usually a way we played a lot of our games, you know, we played them, we played them one player. Very, very mellow soundtrack. Wiki. <laughs> and we're on Pepper Grinders now, nice one. So there's a $40 one, yeah, with a big guarantee. Do you know, I keep buying like the single use ones. I don't think, yeah, you can't refill them. Uh, but they're cheap, they're like a pound. What a game. Let's see if we can uh, we can get to the boss. I love the speed up in here as well, it just looks wicked. Like, I feel like the developers that made this, they genuinely like this game, you know, they must have... Um, Ooh, that was a close one. They must have uh, grown up. They must have grown up like playing this game, right? They must have played this in the arcade and thought, you know what? Let's do a good job of uh, giving the people a new version of this game, right? What's a game? sushi oh i like i like sushi but you know i'm not the big raw raw fish sushi guy right 
as crusty as it sounds, I kind of like it with... I kind of like it with chicken. I've had like the chicken one, I've had... Um, I've had the crab stick one of all things, man. And I like it, even like like the tuna one. I'm not, not big on raw fish, I don't mind some of it. But, uh, you know, and uh, you guys can cuss me and say I'm not really a, a, a true sushi eater, but um, there was a Japan center in Piccadilly Circus. They used to sell some in the basement down there. And at the time, they used to sell like chicken ones. Uh, they used to sell um, crab stick ones and all these different ones out there. And they were really, really nice. And that's where I kind of kind of first got introduced to it, right? You know, playing um, playing Street Fighter with uh, a lot of my um, like Chinese and Japanese friends um, around central London in the Trocadero and around like those areas and they, they kind of introduced me to that place and I was like okay that's wicked now, if I remember correctly don't go to the top one because they kind of land on you there that thing proper that, that 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 this boss here has to be based on gremlins right don't feed it after midnight okay I completely missed that right let's uh I, I don't remember you being able to fire at him, you know, I just remember the only way you could attack him was uh, to by chucking his little babies at him, man. Beaten with your own child. Not a nice way to go out, right? I mean, I, I just said earlier, I didn't, I didn't really like my kids calling me bro. <laughs> ah, damn. Ah, you know what? That just sucked. Right, cool. You know what, guys? What are yo? Biz love gaming. Biz certainly love gaming. And what kind of beer is best? Um, what question? Look at that was from The Office. Anyone watch The Office? No. Biz beat Battle Star Galactica. Well, you remember Jim? Jim, I love those Jim pranks on Dwight. If anyone doesn't watch The Office, it's very, very worth watching it's a it's a great one to watch oh bro do you know what scandal i just had to pay my monthly thames water bill man it, it went up from like i think like 60 to 68 pound man it is just such a such a scam man we're getting so scammed by thames water like anyway i'm not going to get started all that why i'll uh, just uh, i'll just end up going on all night and moaning but guys you know what thank you very much for tuning in random stream out there i do like the switch uh, fillet i do like veggie sushi as well with some of that horse mustard of course makes my nostrils flare but guys thank you for dropping by into this random stream um always always do appreciate i wanted to well i wanted to go through some of my 2d games um on the nintendo switch and there's a lot of good 2d games on there and um you know if you haven't got a switch i think it's worth picking up for some of the 2d titles that are available on there ultimately you can just pick up like a handheld pc they're definitely more powerful they do a lot of the AAA games as well so absolutely wicked billet always thank you as well we're going to do that x68000 stream soon and we'll do a Sega Saturn one as well. Uh, I'll try and keep you posted. I'll try and make sure that you're off work because you've helped me a lot with getting um, certain harder to find titles and you've introduced me to some um, hidden gems. So that's absolutely awesome. But guys, you know, Scandal UK, Sniper Mike UK, everyone that tuned into the stream, LL, uh, Dr. Johnny Bananas, Ninja Running Wild, uh, Electro Nash, Zero the Prototype. I'm really sorry if I'm not calling your name out personally. I've got a bad memory. I am scrolling through some of the chat to see if any names stand out alan d shan gamer uh, spitfire raf 100 yeah i look forward to your dm but that's really it guys honestly thank you so so much and uh, yeah i'll see you guys around this is pixel cherry